Hi, everyone. Welcome again to Ivy English. I'm Bruce. I'm Angela. And I'm Wesley. Today is our test. Let's get started. Number one. Due to her fear of blank, Margaret prefers to travel by train or bus rather than plane. Fear of A. Insects. B. Exercises. C. Heights. Or D. Crowds. Well, these are all possible fears, but we're talking about travel. And if she prefers travel by train or bus, that means she doesn't like、uh, traveling by ship or traveling by air. Well, the only possible answer here having to do with travel would be C, heights, and then it would refer to air travel. And indeed, many people are afraid to travel by air. You can be, as I said, afraid of any of these. I'm afraid of exercises. Insects, many people don't like to be around insects or crowds, but that doesn't have anything to do with traveling. So choose C, heights. Due to her fear of heights, Margaret prefers to travel by train or bus rather than plane. Fear of heights 就是惧怕高度，也就是惧高的意思，惧高症。Due to， 因为她会怕高。Due to her fear of heights， 她会惧高。所以呢 ，Margaret 怎么样 ？Prefers to， 她会比较喜欢 travel by train or bus。她比较喜欢坐火车，或者比较喜欢坐这个巴士 ，rather than 而不是坐飞机。所以我们选 heights。那 A insects 昆虫，这个做昆虫，怕不怕昆虫跟旅行方式没有关系。Exercises 它怕运动，这跟旅行方式也没有关系。Crowds 它害怕群众，这可能跟旅行有关系，但是呢，它这里谈的是旅行的工具，所以 crowds 也不对。我们选 heights。Number two, the couple sleeps in blank rooms because the wife talks in her sleep and the husband snores. It's better for their marriage that way. So if you talk in your sleep, it means you talk about things without waking up, and you don't know you're doing it. And generally, people who snore, which is make that horrible <laughs> noise when they're asleep, also don't know that they're doing it. So, however, their partner has certainly let them know that they do do it. And so, it's better for their marriage that they do this thing. They sleep in blank rooms. What kind of rooms? Identical rooms? Rooms that are exactly the same? Electrical rooms that give them shocks when they do <laughs> the thing? No. Moderate rooms makes even less sense because what is moderate? It just means in the middle or not that extreme. What? So no. But D separate makes sense. Separate rooms they means they sleep in different rooms, which would be very sensical in this situation. So the couple sleeps in separate rooms because the wife talks in her sleep and the husband snores. It's better for their marriage that way. 好，所以这一对夫妇呢，他们睡觉是睡怎么样？分开的房间 ，separate 就是分开的，所以他们分房睡。为什么呢？因为这位太太呢 ，talks in her sleep， 就是她会说梦话。然后呢 ，the husband， 一个是用 the wife， 一个是 the husband， 因为他们都是特定的，就是指这一对夫妇里面的这个先生跟这个太太。好，所以太太会说梦话，先生会 snores， 会打呼。所以呢 ，it's better for their marriage that way。好，这种方式。对他们的婚姻是比较好的，比较不会吵架，比较不会彼此干扰。好，那我们看到 A 选项 identical 是完全相同的，他们睡在完全相同的房间，他们只是分房睡，这两个房间不一定是完全相同的。B electrical 就是跟电有关的，在电的房间这很奇怪。那 moderate 完全不通，因为 moderate 是适度的，不会用来修饰房间，所以我们要选 separate。Number three, to blank the spread of diseases on campus. The administrative department asked all staff and students to wash their hands frequently. Do we use A. Locate, B. Confirm, C. Prevent, or D. Scatter? We have a possible spread of disease on campus, the area where a college or high school is located. It's an area of the buildings belonging to the university or the high school. The administrative department. This is、uh, part of the school government that administers or rules over what can or cannot be done on the campus. Asked all staff and students. Staff are the people who work at the university or high school.、Uh, students, you know, to wash their hands frequently. If we often wash our hands and keep clean, we might be able to blank the spread of disease. 
locate the spread, confirm the spread, prevent the spread, or scatter the spread. Well, washing your hands may remove get or get rid of diseases. It can, and that would be one way to prevent the spread. If you bring the disease onto the campus, but you wash your hands, you may prevent. That disease from spreading to other students or other people later on. Locate the spread would be on campus, but that doesn't make sense here. Confirm the spread is to make sure that it is a disease or something like that, but it doesn't make sense here either. Scatter the spread would mean to make the spread of disease even over a larger area, and of course we wouldn't want that. But C prevent is what we do want to stop. The spread of diseases on campus to prevent the spread of diseases on campus, the administrative department asked all staff and students to wash their hands frequently. 好，所以我们可以看到，为了要怎样呢 ？The spread of diseases 就是疾病的扩散 on campus 在校园里。好，所以我们应该选什么？选 prevent 避免。好，为了避免疾病在校园里面扩散。英文就是这样讲 ，to prevent the spread of diseases on campus。那为了避免疾病扩散呢？那这个 the administrative department 就是行政部门或者这个行政处，学校通常跟学校有关。他 asked 啊，他要求所有的 staff 职员，还有呢这个学生要 wash their hands frequently， 要常常洗手哈 frequently。好，所以我们看到。A 这个选项 locate 重点不是要 locate the spread of diseases， 因为他已经告诉你了，在校园里面嘛，所以 A 不对。B confirm 是确认，这个也不对。然后呢，第四个选项 scatter 是散布，那 spread 跟 scatter 其实意思有点重叠的，所以英文也没有这种 scatter the spread 这种知识搭配，所以也不对。我们选 prevent。Number four, the false report. Blank readers into believing that the businessman was innocent of all the illegal activities that he was accused of. If you're innocent of something, it means you didn't do it. If you're accused of something, it means people said you did it. Now, a false report is one that is basically a report that's full of lies, and so. If a, there's a report that made people believe somebody was innocent when they were actually guilty. That means they were fooled. So, what word here means that the readers were fooled? A misled. Well, that works. The false report misled readers. It means that it led them astray. It led them into believing something that was wrong, as opposed to leading them to the truth. Then we have tortured. Reading bad writing can torture <laughs> you, but it won't torture you into believing something. You can't withdraw readers because readers have the free choice to read your stuff or not. And something you could disturb readers, but you can't disturb somebody into doing something. So just grammatically, that doesn't work. So let's choose A. The false report misled readers into believing that the businessman was innocent of all the illegal activities that he was accused of. False report 就是错误的一个报道。那我们要选的是 misled 误导。因为 mislead someone into doing something， 尤其是 into believing mislead someone。Into believing 什么什么，就是误导让他相信的意思，所以这是一个常见的语块。我们选 mislead。那刚 Angela 是在解释 mislead 的时候，他有讲到一个 to lead astray， a s t r a y， to lead astray 就是引导、误导别人误入歧途那种感觉。astray 就是这个偏离的正道，这个可以学一下。好，所以我们要选的是 mislead。所以这个错误的报道，误导读者，让读者相信 into believing that， 相信说这个。Businessman, 这个商人呢 was innocent of 就是他是无辜的 was innocent of all the illegal activities, 就是他并没有去做这些非法活动，叫做 was innocent of all the illegal activities. 那这些这个 illegal activities 这些非法的活动是怎么样 That he was accused of to be accused of something 就是被控做的这些事情。所以这里有几个蛮好用的语块，这个 mislead someone into believing that 什么什么，还有呢。To be innocent of 什么什么，或者是这里 to be accused of。好，所以我们选 misled。那我们看 B 这个选项 ，tortured 是折磨，那不会说折磨读者，让他们相信这个讲不通。C withdraw 是撤离，也不对。那 D disturbed 是干扰或者打断，你也不会 disturb readers into 怎么样啊，也没有这种说法，所以都不对。我们选 misled。
Number five, the west of the country was invaded by its neighbor, and people living there had been blank affected by heavy bombing. Well, bombing is when airplanes drop bombs, explosive, big explosive devices on things below them, like schools, factories, roads, and so on. And if a country is being invaded, it means country A is going into country B uninvited, and probably with the intention, with the will to control that country. Well, how would they be affected by heavy? Heavy means a great deal of, a great deal of large negative something. Will they be vainly affected, greatly affected, morally affected, or scarcely affected? Well, vainly has nothing to do with this at all. Greatly works very well. It matches the heavy bombing. There's a lot of it, and that will greatly affect the country that is being invaded. Morally affected is not as good, certainly, as greatly affected, because it doesn't matter if you kill someone with an arrow or a bomb. It's not really a question here of being moral. Scarcely affected. If you're scarcely affected by bombing, then the bombs must be very, very few and very, very small. But it's heavy bombing, so that doesn't work. Choose B. The west of the country was invaded by its neighbor, and people living there had been greatly affected by heavy bombing. 好，所以这个国家的西部呢 was invaded 被侵略 by 被谁侵略呢 ？Its neighbor 它的邻国。然后呢 ，people living there 住在那里的人呢？ Had been, 他们都已经怎么样呢？他们是被 greatly affected， 是大大的受到了影响。Affected 就是受到了影响，被什么影响呢 ？By heavy bombing. Heavy 就是猛烈的 bombing 就是轰炸。好，所以我们要选 greatly， 答案是 B。那 A vainly 是徒劳的啊，枉然的，所以没有什么是徒劳徒劳的、枉然的受到影响。这个意义跟。知识搭配都讲不通。C morally， 他们在道德上面受到影响啊，这个被轰炸跟道德受到影响没有什么关系，这个是生死攸关的事。D scarcely 是几乎不，放在这也不对，所以我们要选的是 greatly。Number six. In order to write a blank on the late president, the writer did some in-depth research on the meaningful events in his life. So to do in-depth research is to do very thorough research. You don't just look at the first three <laughs> results from your Google search. <laughs> you you might look into even page ten, and then when you're on a source, you might see another source, and then you follow that source, and you can find some really good information by just following the link. Um, but I suppose really in-depth research would involve going to a research library or something like this. Depends on your definition, but in depth means that you're trying to do more than just find some quick information. Meaningful means things that are relevant to the reader's interest. Like, yeah, you might find out that they stubbed their toe at age six, but <laughs> like, why? Who cares? You know what I mean? Meaningful means something that would let us help us understand the late president better. So, what are we writing on the late president? Are we writing a manual, how to be the late president? Are we writing a portrait? Well, you have to draw a portrait, not write it. Are we writing a quotation on the late president? We're figuring out how much we're going to sell him for, or we're writing a biography on the president. We're writing a story of his life. That makes the most sense. So choose D. In order to write a biography on the late president, the writer did some in-depth research on the meaningful events in his life. So, 为了要写一个什么呢 ？Biography. 答案是 D. 传记啊，后面的介词用 on。所以他为了要写这个已故的总统的传记 ，late 就是已故的。那这一位作家呢，他做了一些深入的研究 ，in-depth research， 研究什么呢？注意那介词 on 哈，研究 on the meaningful events， 有意义的一些事件 in his his life， 深入的研究这个总统他一生有哪些重要的事情，好有意义的事件啊，这样他才能写一个好的 biography， 一个好的这样的传记。好，所以我们选 biography。那 A 选项 manual 是。这个手册，那如果形容词的话，就是手工的，用手做的，不对。B portrait 就是一个画像，那也不对，因为他这个如果要写个画像或者是要描述他的话，不需要做那个 in depth research。C quotation 它可能是引述的话啊，或者是估价，但不管哪一个意思，放在这里都不对，所以我们选 biography。Number seven, to my surprise, my phone is still blank. 
after I dropped it fifteen times this month. It can still make phone calls and play videos as usual. Well, this person is quite lucky, it seems to me. Dropped、uh, his phone, but he can still use it. He make he can make phone calls. He can play videos. So my phone is still what? A portable. B functional. C defensive. D sympathetic. Well, it's going to be portable whether you can use it or not. That's not the issue here. If it's functional, it means it still works, and that makes sense given the fact that this klutz has dropped it fifteen times in a month. Defensive doesn't work here at all. Sympathetic. A machine can a machine be sympathetic?、Mm, I Maybe hope not. Maybe in the future, <laughs> <laughs> right? A robot. But、uh, functional is what we want here because it can still work even though it has been, you would think, damaged forever. So, to my surprise, my phone is still functional after I dropped it fifteen times this month. It can still make phone calls and play videos as usual. 好，所以 to my surprise， 就是让我很讶异的是，我的电话呢，我的手机呢，现在还可以 functional， 这是我们要的是有功能的，还能运作的。答案是 B， 所以现在还能运作。在我掉下这个 drop， 其实就是不小心让手机掉下去了，掉到地上或怎么样的，掉了十五次了。This month， 这个月已经摔手机摔了十五次了，但还能怎么样 functional？ 那。为了解释这个 functional， 他后面说他还是可以怎么样 make phone calls， 还是可以打电话，而且可以 play videos， 可以玩游戏 as usual， 跟之前一样。好，那我们看看其他选项 ：A portable 是可以携带式的，不对 ；B functional 是我们的正确答案 ；C defensive 就是防御性的，有预有这个呃防御的新的等等的。好，所以你说一个手机它是 defensive， 那蛮可怕的啊，它不让你用啊，所以答案当然不对。那 D sympathetic。同情的啊，手机也不会同情你啊，所以都不对。我们选 functional. Number eight, Mr. Brown blank from a very rare medical condition that affects fewer than one in ten million people. So a rare medical condition is one that's very that's not often seen, and so less than one in ten million people is quite a rare condition. So what does he do from this condition? Can he graduate from a medical condition? No. Can he hesitate from something? You can't even hesitate from. That's not how it works. You hesitate to do something. Can you wander from a medical condition? Well, you can wander away from the hospital where you're being treated for it, but you can't wander from the condition since it is inside your body. So that leaves us suffers, and if you suffer from a condition, that means that it hurts you and it's a problem. And this is true for Mr. Brown. Choose D. Mr. Brown suffers from a very rare medical condition that affects fewer than one in ten million people. So Mr. Brown suffers from 就是因为什么而受苦。那如果后面受词是疾病的话，就是他得了这个病。所以他得了一个 very rare， 一个很罕见的 rare 是罕见的。Medical condition 就是疾病 ，condition 在这里指的是 state of health， 你健康的状态。所以他不是说这个，他通常感觉是比较慢性的、比较长期的、不容易解决那种感觉。好，所以 medical condition 就是疾病。那这个疾病呢，会 affects， 它会影响到 fewer than 不到 one in ten million， 就是千万分之一的人，所以很罕见。好，所以我们要选的是 suffers。那其他选项 A graduates 是。毕业啊，你不会从一个病毕业，很奇怪。那 hesitates 迟疑，后面不会加 from。You hesitate to do something， 这是迟疑的意思，也不对。C wonders 是游荡啊、闲晃啊、流浪，所以你也不会从一个 medical condition wonders from 这个 condition， 也不对，意义还有用法都不对，所以我们选 D suffers。Number nine, your grades don't always show your intelligence or ability. They are more of a blank of the effort you make at school. Okay, this will be good news for students. A. Do we want they are more of a preference of the effort? B. A circumstance of the effort. C. A reflection of the effort. Or D. A distribution of the effort. We don't have a preference of the effort. That's not a collocation. A circumstance of the effort is also bizarre. But a reflection of the effort means it shows something. The reflection is a showing or a representation of something. 
or a sign of the effort you make at school. That makes sense. A distribution of the effort, fun pay ma. Fun pay, yeah. It would be to mm-hmm. to break it apart and put it in different places. That you can't do that with effort. So we'll choose C. Your grades don't always show your intelligence or ability. They are more of a reflection of the effort you make at school. 好，所以这句话各位可以把它背起来，这个很实用，而且一个英文也不错。所以你的成绩 grades 是复数哦，不会只有一个成绩，不是。一直不是说总是能够 show 显示你的 intelligence、你的智力或者是你的 ability 能力。They are more of 啊，他们比较是一个什么呢？比较是一个 reflection， 一个反应 of the effort， 就是你努力的反应。那这个努力是怎么样？是 you make at school 啊，是你在学校所做的努力的一个反应。所以有的时候成绩真的不要太在意。好，所以我们选 reflection。那 A 选项 preference 是偏好 ，B circumstance 是。啊，环境。The distribution 是分配或者分发啊，意思都不对。我们选 reflection 才对。A reflection of the effort. Number ten. Michael spent one thousand NT dollars on the new software, but it turned out not to be blank with his computer system. Ah, spending <laughs> money on computers and then it doesn't work. That sucks. Okay, but turned out to be what with his computer system? To not be something. Well, there's a very specific word that you always hear when we're talking about computer systems, and that's a compatible. Because if something is compatible with something else, it means it will work together. It means that they can function. If they're not compatible, it means the functionality is not there, and the computer won't work. The other words, competent, means you're good at your job, which computers are. Competitive means that you can do your work. In a timely manner, I guess. No, competitive means that you have the ability to compete with other people、mm-hmm. to do the work. And D, comparable means that、um, you can relate、Compare、the two the things. Compare the two pieces、yeah. in some way. Yeah, and so none of those really specifically have to be about computers. But A, compatible is the word. So Michael spent one thousand NT dollars on the new software, but it turned out not to be compatible with his computer system. I. 所以呢 ，Michael 花了一千块钱 on the new software 啊，所以 spend money on something 就是在这个东西上花了多少钱。所以他花一千块钱在这个新的软体，但是呢 ，it turned out 结果呢 ，not to be 并没有怎么样。我们要选的是 compatible， to be compatible with 在电脑上面就是指能不能相容，所以要选的 compatible。所以结果呢，跟他的 computer system 跟他的电脑系统不相容啊，那等于白买了。A 选项是我们正确答案 ，compatible。那 B。Competent 是有能力的，不对。C competitive 是竞争的，有竞争力的。这个放在这个句子也意思讲不通。然后呢 ，D 选项 comparable 你也可以念 comparable。那它的意思可以比较的。那有的时候它是相当的的意思 ，similar 或者是 equivalent 也可以表示，也可以用这个 comparable 这个字来表示。但不管什么意思，放在这个句子都不合适。所以我们这个句子呢，选的是 compatible to be compatible with his computer system。Okay, we hope you、uh, understood and、uh, already did well. Maybe you knew most of these right away. That's really good. And if not, it's really good that you can learn some <laughs> new vocabulary uses. So that's it for today's program. We'll be back in a few days with an article. Until then, bye bye.